So everybody wanted to know about my comments about the McDonald's ass whooping. I was a maintenance man at McDonald's. I worked the front counter at McDonald's. I have experienced ignorant customers at McDonald's. And when they walk up to you and you have your name tag and it says your first name on it, they look at you and they call you by your name and they disrespect you. I've seen people eat all but one bite of a hamburger and this is not right. What the? Yell and scream and throwing the stuff at you. I've seen it. I've also seen managers defend people. There was a lady getting beat up in the parking lot. And my manager, she went out and handled it. This is when I was working in Richmond. The McDonald's on San Pablo Avenue. Uh, the manager's name was Liz. Liz did not take no shit from anybody. And I remember one day some lady came in screaming and yelling and she came around the counter. It took four of us to get Liz off that lady. Liz was gonna deep fry that lady's ass. At McDonald's and other fast food places, you get robbed at night. I was in a robbery, we got robbed, and the police questioned me from midnight to like 6.45 in the morning. Let everybody else go. I have been in some serious situations in McDonald's. So, when I watch this guy go off and start whooping the shit out of these two, uh, two women, it reminded me of when Liz was gonna whoop the shit out of this lady. If we had to pull the boss off, because the boss was doing what that man was doing, but she was doing it with her fists. I don't care who you are, what, what, what you are. In the United States of America, you have the right to defend yourself. No man, woman, boy, or girl, or even little child has the right to walk up, run up, and slap, punch, kick, or hit any other individual. If your child runs up and hits somebody, why can't that person hit your child back? If you ran up and slapped somebody in the mouth, why can't that person hit you back? If somebody ran up and smack your great grandmama in the mouth. Why can't she fight back? So you can be standing at the counter at a gas station. Somebody cuts somebody off, and then you allow him to pump gas. The guy says, "Hey, don't let him pump his gas." He cut me off. He's like, hey, well, the guy paid. And then the guy says, well, you stop the pump. And you say, no. And then the guy comes over there and grabs you all up in your collar and starts beating you in the face. 
you better not fight back. In America, someone can hit you while you're at work and they are not happy and they have the right to whoop your ass because their customer's fucking right. Is that true? Somebody once told me, you're a man. You're more stronger and more powerful than any woman. I know some women that will beat you down. I know some women that will dismantle you. My grandmother told me, if somebody puts their hands on you and you don't do nothing about it, they will do it every time they see you again and again and again until you say no. Do I think that man was right? Yes. Do I think he went too far? No. And I'm going to explain why. What if Wednesday the lady slapped him, her friend pulled a little gun out and shot What if? There was two guys over there sitting and their women were attacking the guy at McDonald's. And then they's like, oh my God, my woman is mother. And then jumped over there and beat the hell out of the man. One thing I am upset with is the other employees. I understand kicking this lady's ass and her partner's ass too. I understand that. But me personally, I would have tried to save those women. Some of that ass whooping was borderline weak and getting trouble. Because even when they pulled Liz off that lady, we pulled Liz off because she was about to deep fry that lady's face. Plus, we had to get the french fries out. But the moral of the story is this. In today's society where little small bits and pieces of racism flip people out, you know, the misunderstanding. Just because you see a black person, that don't mean you can call him or her a nigga. Man, y'all niggas is tripping. Not every black person speaks urban or ghetto or hood. And when you're working at McDonald's and people think you're the bottom of the food chain, People just talk to you like you ain't shit. And then they walk up and, and ask you to hand them their food. You order the food, you get disrespectful, and then you turn around with your hands out. Now see, that's the equivalent to a man beating his girlfriend and then asking for oral sex before they go to bed. I know your eyes hurt and you know, I'm sorry for beating your face in, but could you suck on this? Think about it. You have completely disrespected somebody and now you want them to serve you something to eat. We live in a day and age where revenge, getting even with the bad guy, 
shutting the loud mouth locals up, whatever. That, 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 that unequivocal selfishness that has become humanity. Don't fuck with me attitude. Don't mess with my food. Nigga, you working at McDonald's. Look at your broke ass working for McDonald's. We have become disrespectful. I don't know exactly what happened, but I know if you put your hands on somebody, be prepared for hands to be placed upon you. But in this case, it was a little metal pipe. First of all, he could have grabbed a french fry basket, he could have snatched that lady and put her head in a clamshell. The clamshell is a grill. He could have physically slammed her into something. There's knives. There's a lot of things he could have did. But when you go beyond the register, when you climb over that counter, when you step your foot beyond that zone, if you don't have a uniform on, what the fuck you want to do back there? What is, what is your purpose behind the register? Are you going to get a schedule? Are you going to get your uniform? Is it your first day at work? If you are a customer, stay your ass on your side of the register. If you have complaints, they have phone numbers for that. There's, can I speak to your manager? Reaching up, swinging at somebody? What if he had a gun? He could have ran back to the back snatched his gun out of his backpack and lit that motherfucker up. But he did. He'd been locked up in the past. He knows life is savage. And when somebody swings on you, the bell goes off. It's like Meryl Springer. McDonald's has abandoned one of their employees. If that lady jumped across the register and pulled out a gun and said, This is a robbery, everybody down. McDonald's would press charges. If the lady would have jumped across the register and busted somebody upside the head, stomped a little lady in the ground, my fish fry, McDonald's would have pressed charges. But this employee would not take this shit anymore. He stood up for himself and every other person making minimum wage or above minimum wage or the bottom pay scale. He stood up for everybody else who, who got tired of people screaming their first name out, swinging at them. He got tired and he stood up for himself. Unfortunately, he kicked too much ass. But the moral of the story is this. Stay on your side of the register. If you pay for food, get your food. Complain about it later. You don't have to swing on nobody for no hamburger and fries. Because when you swing on somebody for hamburger and fries, you get hit with the stick and knocked on your thighs. Four billion serve.